If you could describe this experience in one word, what would you say? Um, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> like Jaiyu and the I Am program gave me a whole lot of legitimacy um, as a photographer and it opened up opportunities to shoot um, weddings even and um, just get compensated and get paid for the work that we do um, is huge, I feel, for the community um, of artists that um, are trying to come up. Art is more important than a lot of people give it credit for. Um, art is only important because it gives us the chance to speak and write and express whatever we feel like or whatever we think that is right. Um, social justice is an important issue and art gives us a platform to discuss that important issue. Those photos are going to be based off of a word that's going to be given to you today. So that word is something that is going to guide you for the rest of the, the next sessions. In your photography and the things that you decide to take pictures of, that word it has to be what inspires the photo. What is your word? My word? Yes. Warmth. And how is that going to work? It's going amazing. There's so much to say um, regarding warmth and social justice. There is so much that I don't even know where to begin from. I have uh, so many ideas, but then um, I have also so much support coming from all of those mentors who are like, helping me discover how I can like, portray social justice through this work in my photography. Zara um, is a great photographer. She does portraits and she's like really tied in with the social justice scene in Toronto. She actually spoke at our previous um, session and like her connection with the kids and just like the way they were so enthralled with her is really like that connection is exactly what we wanted for the mentee to have with the mentor. All the work that I do is sports. Everything I speak about is for social justice and using art as a way to express it. So I hope that this inspires you. I hope that this maybe gives you some ideas on how to go about your work. <coughs> then with Taku, he's a phenomenal photographer for, um, he does like, his Instagram is like all landscape. So we want to bring another type of um, photography into the program that wasn't just um, portraits and like street photography. Combining the two just seemed like a really good cohesive choice. They start off quiet and really shy and as each class builds on the foundations of photography and we introduce the social um, justice aspect it like you can see their minds start like turning and like thinking how to incorporate their lives and what they see and their own voice into what they want to share and present. Social justice is sort of like a very heavy term but I would personally see it as how things should go in society that the fact that if I'm enjoying a privilege, someone else should be enjoying that privilege. And if I'm being treated in a bad way, someone else should stand up for me as much as I would stand up for other people. What is your word for your team? Relaxation. And what picture have you taken? And how does it show relaxation? I see like how colored people have to like fight for their rights and to have um, the respect that they deserve. So I put them relaxing, like laying down after they won the battle. 
and you see like the work you have to put through and in the sweat in this photo. And I tried to like incorporate yeah, the, the sweat to show that he's working hard and like he finally did it, he finally made it. this artist's life that maybe isn't picture perfect, no pun intended, you know? Um, what are some other qualities that you think uh, this artist used to organize their thoughts? Some other characteristics or qualities? Like what makes this photo unique? What shows, how does this photo express home? <laughs> and you know what, it doesn't have to be literally the word unique or the word home. It could be one of the other words that you have associated with it, right? So. the transition that the students are going through um, so the difference between the first session and then the, the session we're at right now it's it's uh, quite quite a big difference and I love, I love to see the inspiration behind um, the people uh, the youth the work that you do and to see them helping each other out uh, over the course of the workshop is great too I feel like I'm getting a lot more nervous when it comes to like the final exhibition just because it's not like I want my project to look good, I want it to leave an impact. I want it to be something unforgettable. Um, I'm not looking for beauty or perfection. I'm not a professional pro photographer, I'm only like a novice and I expect like to see flaws in my photography or in my artistic statement, but I still have a message that I want to fight to deliver. So uh, yes, I'm struggling, but I'm not gonna give up. From week one until today, which is graduation day, it's like, first of all, the work that they all produced just shows me and tells me that they have been impacted, that they know they can do this. They can create art that's meaningful and impactful, and you can just see it in the way that, uh, you know, they walk into the room now. These youth teach me to be even more kind, patient, and they teach me you know, just uh, even more how important this work is. And if I can, I would love to even have, you know, my whole squad, my whole team to be young people. Um, because they're the ones, they're the ones that are going to take this information and, and, and teach the rest. I was enrolled in the IM program uh, that was run by Jai for the last eight weeks. And I've been coming here. <laughs> I finish uh, a work in Mississauga, so I would finish work and I'd take the train an hour of travel time, but it was all worth it. Um, I learned a lot of tips and tricks about photography, but more importantly, I learned how to tell a story. I also learned how to understand a story behind a picture. This whole experience has been really painful. Something that I'm taking with me from this program uh, are relationships and a lot of gratitude for all the people who are working on this project. I wish them more luck and more power. So the faces that I've seen here really like, <laughs> it makes me emotional now. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the faces and the people that I've met and everything that I've learned here is something that's gonna stay with me for my whole life.